Are you having trouble grouping records using list view in Airtable? If so, this video is for you. My name is Max Bernstein and this is Industry Automations. We make custom Airtable databases for the music industry. Let's dive right in. Releases have been grouped into a release schedule. The way we did this to recap is by using a formula to dictate which week of the year this song has come out. If you're in the music business, you know that Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, all those releases roll up to that Friday's release week. And that is how we want them grouped on the release schedule. So then in grid view, all you have to do is group by week number. Let me take that away for a moment and you'll see it's just all the releases stacked up. But if you go grid view, grouped by, sorry, week number, you get this nice grouping. So you can say, all right, for this week, we have this many releases. These are them, ba ba ba, And then you can do with it what you please. However, if you've been following Airtable, they've been rolling out some pretty fancy upgrades, one of which is called List View. So I'm going to call this, I'm going to open up a new List View. We'll call it Release Schedule, and we'll call it List View. All right. Let's customize the rows to include those that same information so release date i think title uh yeah sorry make sure it's the same release date status status all right there you go you take my title okay so but when you look across the top here you notice there's no ability to group them so let's go back to the grid view a second you see we've got this option to group when we go to the list view there's no option to group. And the reason is because Airtable in list view uses linked records to set hierarchies that allow you to group. So what do we do now? Next step, let's go back to releases, the grid view, go to that week number table, insert or duplicate the field, and we're going to change this field to reporting week. And we're going to make it a linked record. And we're going to link it to a new table called reporting. Now you'll see that new table showed up here. And all of a sudden, all those weeks are now records in the reporting table linked back to releases that are in those weeks. Great, back to the releases table. Now, go back to the list view, and let's set the hierarchy levels. Click set levels, get started. We have releases, let's add something above it. In this case, we're gonna add reporting. Next, next. And then the reporting is, all, is going to have the name. The release is going to have what we had. And that's go done. And there you are, folks. But now we have to sort at the reporting level by name. So we've got week 12, week 13, 14, week 15. And then we can do all sorts of sorts at the release level by date or whatever. So that is a lesson on how to use linked records to sort, sorry, to group on the list view. And then one other benefit of having a reporting table is that you're able to roll up a whole bunch of things. In this case, we'll do a quick one. We'll just call this number of releases and we'll make it a count field. 
So it just counts the number of releases that week. But if in your release table you had information like the budget, the marketing expenditure, the um, how much you're going to spend on creative, all these things, and then you're maybe the owner of the business and you want to know by week how much money you've committed to spend, how much um, maybe you want to track in the releases table performance, right? How many streams, how many playlists you got. You can then roll all that information into the reporting table by week and then display that in a bunch of ways on charts, on graphs, in the interfaces, all that sorts of stuff. If any of that is interesting to you, let me know in the comments. We can do separate videos on that. And the last thing I'll say is that you can have weeks, you can have quarters, you can have months. It can all be records in the recording, sorry, in the reporting table, such that when you roll up information, you can group it by those values. So this week, this month, this quarter. And a byproduct of that is that when you are in the releases table, you can group by that. So if you wanted to group by releases per month, you could if releases were linked to a month record in the reporting table. All right. This is Max Bernstein, Industry Automations. We make custom Airtable bases for the music industry. See you in the next video.